Hello Vinyl Community! I've just finished another mix for Mixcloud, so before I put the records back on the shelf, let's have a little look at them. This one came out already about 10 years ago on Finders Keepers, and it's called Pom Grenades. This is a compilation including uh, pop music from Iran from the 70s, maybe late 60s, but certainly most of it is from the 70s, uh, basically before the... Uh, Ayatollah regime took over, uh, which was, I think, 1979, if I remember this correctly. So, uh, again, a uh, intimate look at a era that is uh, long gone and uh, that was uh, suddenly interrupted. So, uh, I have uh, used a track called Mosem Ogol by a singer called Parwa. And uh, this is a pretty cool, funky song. And if you want to hear it, well, check out my Mixcloud mix. Now this is uh, the third album by Gaye Suakiol, which is a wonderful uh, musician from Turkey, from Istanbul. Uh, she's a singer, songwriter, producer, extremely creative, very professional and talented. Um, this album is called İstikrarlı uh, Hayal Hakikatir which uh, basically means something like um, constant dreams are reality. And this is a pretty cool record. I mean, she, this is her third album and all three albums by her are quite amazing. This is one of the great contemporary sounds of Istanbul, I would say. Um, a wonderful mixture of pop and funk and soul and uh, all kind of elements, uh, Latin music that is quite beautifully woven into this uh, rather psych rock oriented sound um, so you know uh, I'm using a lot of adjectives to describe her so uh, she is uh, very uh, very eclectic in style and uh, who knows if you are trying to if you want to explore the contemporary music in Turkey in Istanbul uh, you cannot uh, ignore Gaia Suakiol great record really love it I uh, took one track from the second album by Kruang Bin and uh, it was uh, the track called August 10. Um, yeah, Kruang Bin's sec second album is a uh, little more lively, I would say. Uh, it's it's more versatile in, in style um, and overall pretty good record. Um, but continuing the, the trend of... Uh, rather sort of a mm, cannabis oriented music then it all got a little darker and a little more melancholic um, with Anastasis by Dead Can Dance uh, I've used the track Opium in my mix uh, this is a very adventurous atmospheric album um, and I think it was shown quite a lot on uh, VC in VC videos here on YouTube um, so um, you probably know it uh, great record now the next record is one of my latest discoveries. Um, this is Derja Yildrim and Group Shimshek, and this is an outfit from Hamburg, Germany. Now they are playing uh, basically Turkish folk rock combined with psychedelic rock and with a touch of soul and maybe a bit of funk. So uh, this is quite uh, interesting music and uh, as a blend of different styles it, it works pretty well. Um, it's also a beautifully designed album, I think. Uh, this came out on Bongo Joe. Well, Bongo Joe is really becoming one of my favorite labels these days. Um, it's uh, in this uh, nice gatefold design. Uh, there is even a little booklet inside uh, with the uh, drawings and lyrics and stuff uh, so overall this is a beautiful production this came out this year and uh, I've used the track a Shaheen Bakishlim and uh, this was the right track for my mix yeah now this is I've shown this already this is Gece the second album by Altengün um, the Dutch Turkish outfit from Amsterdam and um, this was, of course, the perfect uh, project to follow the previous record. Another great example of uh, their uh, 
sort of a psych rock slash disco funk and um, this is a highly recommendable album uh, certainly one of my favorite discoveries this year and um, probably not the last time that I'm showing it uh, in a VC video so and the final record is by Babazula now this is called Otto's Dirt Otto Sanai and uh, which is basically just uh, uh, the car plate in Turkish but uh, Otus Dirt means 34 and 34 is uh, the um, well the car plate number for all cars registered in Istanbul so uh, that's basically the meaning behind it this is a very extravagant band and they are pretty well known in Turkey and I think at this point they are becoming quite popular around the world um, yeah this is a uh, gatefold sleeve design so here you can see uh, some pictures of Babazula um, this album came out I think 2014 um, it comes with the with the whole poster as you can see here um, also I have this inlay here with lyrics and translations of lyrics let me take out the record so it's here and uh, I also have uh, this kind of a uh, photo here or postcard type of photo with the signatures of the main artist from Babazula so if you like oriental psychedelic rock and you still don't know Babazula well then you have your task ahead of you oh and before I forget there are two CDs that I have used in this mix which are both pretty charming one of them is called Tales from Vietnam by Nguyen Le and uh, this is uh, quite an amazing uh, crossover album uh, from the 90s that incorporates traditional Vietnamese music and uh, jazz so um, this is not just some kind of a corny cheesy world music album um, there is some serious jazz stuff going on here but mostly in a rather uh, big band oriented atmosphere um, so uh, it's beautifully recorded this is some great sound going on there and uh, at the same time it blends really well with uh, the music of Vietnam and just something a little sweet to end this video this is uh, the Henry Mancini soundtrack to the movie Arabesque uh, from 1966 if I remember it right um, pretty charming soundtrack uh, one of the best by Henry Mancini who was quite a genius and I've used the last track the last composition on this soundtrack called Baghdad on Thanos so that's it those were all my records uh, after this uh, mixed cloud session and uh, I hope there was something uh, intriguing or inspiring there for you and um, well keep it spinning and have a nice day